After Cioe received the level 7 badge, many astonished gazes fell upon the dazzling badge in his hand. The room suddenly became silent. Mid-tier level 7, neither the grey-clad old woman, the elder from the Chu clan, nor even Han Lai had ever reached that level. Now, however, this badge of honor had landed in the hands of Sinoyan, who seemed to be a very young man. On the other hand, Yi Chong's face was filled with a smile. He stroked his beard, especially as he observed the intriguing expressions of the grey-clad old woman and the others. A joy, difficult to describe, surged from his heart. Since the decline of the Yi clan, it had been a long time since he had seen these people reveal such expressions. The face of the grey-clad old woman changed as she looked at the badge in Xiao Yin's hand. After a moment, she couldn't help but say, Deacon Han, issuing a level badge is no joking matter. Are you sure there's nothing wrong with this test? Hanley's expression instantly darkened upon hearing her words. He immediately said to the old woman, Are you doubting my abilities? The grey-clad old woman hurriedly smiled upon seeing Hanley's angry face. She quickly said, How could I dare do that? However, it's just that I find it hard to believe that the Yi clan, which has declined so much, could produce a young level 7 alchemist. The woman in white beside the grey-clad old woman also slowly recovered. Her eyes were complex and strange as she glanced at Xiaoyan. Her disgust had completely vanished by now. Even though she was at the high-tier level 6, she clearly understood the vast difference between her and a mid-tier level 7 alchemist. Moreover, this Xiaoyan was a mid-tier level 7 alchemist. The old woman sighed and continued, What's there to boast about? He's just a mid-tier level 7 alchemist. I don't believe he can save the Yi clan. After saying that, she immediately urged the others to leave. Seeing the grey-clad old woman and her group about to leave, Xiaoyan quickly said, Wait. The old woman's footsteps halted instantly, and she turned to look at Xiaoyan, saying, Boy, do you intend to see who I used to be? A slight smile appeared on Xiaoyan's face as he looked at the grey-clad old woman. He gently said, You just called me trash. The old woman squinted her eyes. A cold glint flashed between them as she said, Young man, don't tell me you don't allow others to say anything about you. It seems the teachings of the Yi clan are becoming worse. Xiaoyan slowly shook his head. He gently stepped forward and a muffled thunderous sound appeared. His body suddenly disappeared. The old woman's face changed as Xiaoyan's body vanished. She flicked her sleeve and a majestic Dao Qi surged from her body. Her sharp eyes swept around, searching for Xiaoyan's presence. Soon, the low deep wind sound emerged from behind the gray clad old woman. Her face turned cold as she turned and threw a punch forward. The immense force on her fist caused ripples to form in the air. As the old woman's punch was just released, the space in front of her suddenly fluctuated. A simple punch pierced through space and harshly collided with her fist. An explosion immediately occurred and strong wind ripples surged, forcing the grey-clad old woman's group to retreat hastily. The old woman's face turned pale almost instantly after their fists collided. Shock appeared on her face. Then she spat a mouthful of fresh blood. Her body flew backward and finally crashed into the wall. Except for Yi Zhang, everyone in the room showed astonished expressions upon seeing the grey-clad old woman spew blood after a single exchange, especially the three other members of the Bad Clan. They clearly understood the power of the grey-clad old woman at the Dozong level, yet she couldn't even block a single punch from Xiaoyan. The three exchanged glances with each other. The woman in white among them was so shocked that her face turned pale. Xiaoyan's figure slowly appeared in front of the grey-clad old woman, whose face turned pale instantly. Xiaoyan quickly said, Who do you think you are? How dare you utter the word trash in front of me? Seeing no response from the grey-clad old woman, Xiaoyan immediately turned his gaze towards Han Lai, apologizing for fighting in this place. In response, Han Lai sighed. After a moment, he could only wave his hand and say, He has reaped what he sowed in this matter. However, your attack was a bit too harsh. He then instructed a member of the Bai clan named Bai Wai to take his people away along with the old woman in the grey robe. The cold, white-clad woman clenched her silver teeth upon hearing this. Her eyes showed a hint of fear as she glanced at Xiaoyan. She led two other members of the Bai clan to lift the unconscious old woman in the grey robe, who had coughed up blood and fallen to the ground. They then left the examination room in a rather pitiful manner. The three members of the Kui clan standing by also did not wish to stay any longer. Their fearful eyes glanced at Xiaoyan before they quickly departed. Afterward, Yi Shang immediately said, Xiaoyan really attacked at will. Although I feel very, but the Bai clan surely won't let this matter rest in the future. Hearing this, Xiaoyan smiled and replied, It's fine. If the Bai clan wants to find trouble with me, I will simply accompany them. Then Han Lai stepped forward, laughed, and said, It seems the Yi clan is very confident about passing the exam this time. 
He immediately congratulated Yi Zhang. Yi Zhang smiled and nodded before finally saying, With this incident, the Bai clan might send an expert when the exam of the five major clans begins. They intend to force the Yi clan out of the top three positions. Hearing this, Han Lai nodded and then frowned before finally saying that there was a possibility. The Bai clan had long disliked the Yi clan. They would certainly not hold back if they could add insult to Yi Zhang. From what he saw, the most outstanding person among the younger generation of the Bai clan was a young man named Bai Ying. This person was not even 20 years old, but had already reached the intermediate level of class seven. Moreover, he had stayed at this level for three years. If the Bai clan sent him, it was likely that the Yi clan would also have difficulty entering the top three. Yi Zhang's expression became slightly serious. He then said that he had heard of this person. Bai Ying could be considered someone with a lot of talent in medicine refinement. Even Cao Dan from the Cao clan was worse when compared to him. If the Bai clan was indeed going to send Bai Ying this time, the situation would be somewhat unpredictable. Besides the Yi clan, the other four major clans among the five major clans were all extraordinary. They lacked no talents comparable to Cao Dan in pill refinement. These people had great reputations even when placed in the pill region. Although the Yi clan received help from Xiaoyan this time, it was still not easy to secure a top three position. The matter that occurred today had truly offended the Bai clan. Moreover, they had offended the Cao clan some time ago as well. Therefore, these two clans would surely send some troublesome competitors to hinder the Yi clan. As for the Dan clan, which kept a low profile and always alternated between the top or second place in every exam, no one had ever seen them fall to third place. Therefore, the Dan clan would also be a hidden competitor. Thus, the top three positions were occupied by the Cao clan, the Dan clan, and the Bai clan. Hearing this, Han Lai immediately comforted Yi Zhang, telling him to forget about the matter. Yi Zhang did not need to trouble his head with such things. Let everything develop as it would, and they could only leave everything to fate. Besides, the person invited by the Yi clan this time was not an ordinary person. He might even be comparable to the geniuses of those three clans. Yi Zhang smiled and then sighed before finally saying that at this moment, he could only pin all his hopes on the boy. The survival of the Yi clan would truly be determined by this test. After that, Xiao Yan and Yi Zhang bid farewell to Han Lai and both immediately explored the outskirts of the sacred pill city. After walking for quite some time, and as the sky began to darken, Yi Zhang quickly stopped Xiao Yan. He told Xiao Yan to forget about wandering around looking for something nice. If Xiao Yan wanted to find treasures, the alchemist trade fair that would be held the day after tomorrow would truly open his eyes. The things that were mostly extraordinary, and if Xiao Yan was lucky, he might even obtain unexpected treasures. Xiao Yan helplessly nodded after hearing Yi Zhang's words. At that time, Xiao Yan had accidentally obtained the Skyfire 3 mysterious change at the trade fair, but unfortunately, it seemed that he did not have such luck now. Eventually, Yi Zhang led both of them out of the trading area. Seeing that Xiao Yan had quickly refocused his thoughts, the two of them hurried back to the Yi clan. In short, night fell with Xiao Yan standing in the same place as the previous night. After an hour, Xiao Yan quickly opened his tightly shut eyes. His eyebrows furrowed before he muttered that he seemed unable to enter the same state as the previous night. It seemed that Xiaoyan really could only rely on chance now. Xiaoyan gently sighed and thought that if he could enter the same state a few more times, he could increase the density of spiritual aura within his soul, and his soul might advance to the so-called soul condition at some point. When that time came, refining high-level tier 7 medicinal pills would no longer pose much of a problem for Xiaoyan. If he were in his peak condition, he might even be able to challenge tier 8 medicinal pills. If all this happened, then Xiaoyan would have the confidence to stand above everyone, even in the pill gathering. After that, Xiaoyan thought that he should go and see what the so-called alchemist trade fair was about the day after tomorrow. It would be better if Xiaoyan could get something to train his soul there. In short, the day changed and Yi Zhang, Xiao Yixian, Tian Hu Zunji, and Xin Lan were already standing waiting for Xiaoyan. After everyone gathered, Yi Zhang laughed and then asked if they were all ready. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded, and they immediately set off for the Alchemist Trade Fair in Sacred Pill City. In short, they arrived at a magnificent building with the words Flying Dragon Dancing Phoenix written above it. After that, Xiao Yan asked Yi Zhang if this was the place. Yi Zhang smiled and nodded before saying that it had been years since he had been here and that things had changed a bit. After that, they immediately headed to the front door, and when they were about to be stopped by the strict guard, Xiaoyan quickly took out the Tier 7 Alchemist badge he had just obtained from the test the day before from his storage ring. Xiaoyan gently pinned the badge to his chest, 
and the stern-looking guards slowly step back. After that, the guards bow to see Oyan. According to the rules of this alchemist trade fair, tier 7 alchemists and above were allowed to bring a few friends. Therefore, Xeolian and the others were not stopped. Instead, they were allowed to follow Xeolian for the wide front door. They immediately stepped inside, with Yi Zhang beginning to explain that the Alchemist Trade Fair was also divided into several different tiered areas. Their current position was that the third tier area, while the second tier area was on the second floor, and the first tier area was on the top floor. However, some requirements had to be met to enter the upper areas. One had to reach at least level 6 as an alchemist to enter the second floor, while a person had to be at least level 7 or a Du Zun to enter the top floor. Xi Wayne slowly nodded and smiled before finally saying that this was their chance to look around and see if they could find something valuable. After an hour of wandering, Xi Wayne sighed helplessly as he could not find anything. Yi Chong quickly explained that the items in this place had been very strictly filtered. Additionally, these people here all had very sharp eyes. It was not an easy task to obtain treasures that others had not found in the hands of these people. If Xiaoyan truly wanted to find treasures, he would have to go to the second or third floor. Xiaoyan nodded, and they quickly headed to the second floor. With the qualifications of Xiaoyan's group, it was certainly not a problem for them to go to the second floor, even with Sin Lan. The hesitant guards quickly allowed Xiaoyan's group entry after seeing the mid-tier level 7 badge on Xiaoyan's chest. Not long after, they arrived and walked around a bit until Xiaoyan quickly halted his steps after seeing something that caught his eye. His gaze stopped on a jade stone box on a stone platform in front of him. Blood aura seeped out of it, causing it to emit waves of life force. The blood essence demon fruit is an extremely rare medicinal ingredient, a fruit that absorbs blood essence. This fruit hides underground and absorbs the life force and blood essence before finally transforming into a fruit form. The Blood Essence Demon Fruit is the main ingredient in refining the Blood Fusing Bone Growing Pill. This Blood Fusing Bone Growing Pill is the medicinal pill that Xiaoyan wants to refine at this pill gathering. This pill is at the peak of the 7th tier and can even step into the dark tier. The Blood Fusing Bone Growing Pill is very difficult to refine. Moreover, the required medicinal ingredients are very rare. The chances of someone successfully refining it are very low. If Xiaoyan had not encountered some fortunate events recently, gradually filling his soul with spiritual key and allowing him to feel his pill refinement becoming smoother, he would not have intended to refine the blood-fusing bone-growing pill. After all, this medicinal pill is indeed too difficult to create. Of course, it might be difficult, but the blood-fusing bone-growing pill is a medicinal pill that Xiaoyan needs to successfully refine. He needs to refine it for Yao Lao. When he rescues Yao Lao in the future, he must resolve his body issues. Purifying the body will require the blood-fusing bone-growing pill. Soon, Tioyan's eyes turned to the figure of the seller, an elder behind the stone platform with a level 6 badge on his chest. The old man in a red robe was momentarily stunned when he saw the badge on Tioyan's chest. He then asked if there was something that caught this gentleman's attention. Without further ado, Tioyan immediately approached the blood essence demon fruit and asked how the old man wanted to trade for this item. The old man in the red robe smiled and then said that it seemed this gentleman recognized the rarity of the blood essence demon fruit. Someone would use it when refining some high level 7 tier medicinal pills. He wanted to trade the blood essence demon fruit for a mid tier level 7 medicinal formula that he had never practiced before. Xiaoying immediately raised his eyebrows, then laughed and said that the old man knew how to joke. The blood essence demon fruit might indeed be rare, but a mid tier level 7 medicinal formula was priceless. Who would want to take and trade it with him? The eyes of the old man in the red robe showed a hint of embarrassment as he realized he had asked for too much. However, he still insisted and refused to back down from the deal, knowing that the blood essence demon fruit was the most valuable and rarest item among the things in front of him. Sioni shook his head when he saw that the old man in the red robe refused to lower the price. He turned around and instructed Sin Lan that they would first head to the upper floor and look around since Sin Lan could not go there. So she had to stay there. Xiaoyan asked Sin Lan to find a place and let her know that he wanted to buy the Blood Essence Demon Fruit, the 10,000 Year Green Spiritual Vine, and the Snow Bone Ginseng. The condition for the exchange was a fully refined mid tier level 7 medicinal pill. Sin Lan nodded when she heard Xiaoyan's words. After instructing Sin Lan, Xiaoyan immediately turned to the old man in the red robe and whispered that this was the price Xiaoyan would set to exchange for the Blood Essence Demon Fruit. It was up to the old man whether he wanted to trade or not. If he had thought it over and was interested, he could come to find the little woman. Xiaoyan ignored the old man and the red robe's sullen expression. Then he turned and walked to the upper floor. 
After arriving upstairs, Coen was approached by an old man in a yellow robe who asked what he needed. Coen pondered for a moment before finally saying that he needed two types of medicinal ingredients, the 10,000-year green spiritual vine and the snowbone ginseng. Hearing this, the old man in the yellow robe immediately repeated what Coen meant. He thought for a moment and then said that these were very rare medicinal ingredients. They might be used to refine high-level medicinal pills. He had no information about the 10,000-year green spiritual vine and the snow bone ginseng. It must be said that Xiolian's luck was truly very good as there was snow bone ginseng among the items traded on this floor. Excitement flashed in Xiolian's eyes before the old man in the yellow robe quickly asked Xiolian to follow him. Soon, they reached the corner of the room where the old man in the yellow robe began speaking to another figure he called Old Yan. The old man opened with a casual question, noting that Old Yan's business seemed quite good today. Old Yan shook his head and said that people were just looking but not buying. They even said that the items were too expensive. If they thought it was too expensive, they could go shopping on the lower floor. Tiolian glanced at the old man called Old Yan, who was currently a bit annoyed. Tiolian's gaze swept across the other man's chest, noticing a high-level 7th tier badge. The other party was a high-level 7th tier alchemist. Shortly after, the old man in the yellow robe turned to Tiolian and indicated that this was the snow bone ginseng he needed. However, the items sold by Old Yan were all quite expensive, so Xiolian needed to be mentally prepared. Xiolian's eyes focused on the snow white ginseng and he slowly nodded. After a moment, Xiolian recognized from the light forming over the ginseng that it was indeed snow bone ginseng. Soon, Old Yan said that there was no need to look around because there were no fake items there. He immediately asked if they wanted to buy it or not, his gaze lingering slightly longer on the badge on Xiolian's chest. Finally, he spoke again, saying that if they wanted to obtain the snow bone ginseng, the price was a high-level 7-tier medicinal pill. Xiolian frowned slightly upon hearing this. A high-level 7-tier medicinal pill. This man could say such words. Xiolian smiled and said that while snow bone ginseng might be valuable, the medicinal pill used to refine it was only a high-level 7-tier pill. Wasn't it a bit excessive to ask for such a price just for snow bone ginseng? Hearing this, the man laughed and said that Xiolian was indeed good with words. However, Xiolian's words made sense, and he would lower the offer to a mid-tier level 7 pill. Additionally, the requirement was that Xiolian had to produce a specific pill desired by the man. Xiolian only nodded upon hearing these words. Using a mid-tier level 7 medicinal pill to trade for the ingredient was a condition Xiolian could accept. After that, Xiolian shifted his gaze until it stopped at one corner. Xiolian was slightly surprised when he saw the copper plate and immediately frowned. At the same time, Tian Hu Zunji whispered in Xiolian's ear, suggesting that he should try to obtain the copper plate. He had seen that image once before, and it was something that only appeared in ancient times. Although he didn't know its exact use, anything related to ancient times was usually not simple. Xiolian nodded before he quickly took the copper plate. Xiolian wondered if this was indeed an item from ancient times. His heart was filled with disbelief as he flipped the copper plate over. If Tian Hu Zunji hadn't whispered those words to him earlier, it would have been very difficult for Xiolian to connect this item with ancient times. Soon, Old Yan remarked that the value of the copper plate was higher than that of the snow bone ginseng. Furthermore, there would be no bargaining over the copper plate. Xiolian was a bit surprised, then smiled and asked if there was something unique about the copper plate, even more valuable than the snow bone ginseng. Old Yan immediately said that he didn't know much about the copper plate. Xiolian smiled bitterly, feeling that this old man was truly very strange. Old Yan continued, saying that although he didn't know the use of the copper plate, he could tell that it was an item from ancient times. Hearing this, Xiolian's heart tends instantly, but his face remained smiling. Xiolian quickly asked if he could know the age of the copper plate that made the old man so sure it was related to ancient times. The old man quickly replied that the image on it was something he had seen in some ancient books. However, if Xiolian asked about its usage, he had no idea. Nonetheless, he believed it was related to ancient times, and it was up to Xiolian whether he wanted to buy it or not. Xiolian pondered, feeling confused, before finally asking what the old man wanted in exchange for the copper plate. The old man continued, saying that he would trade it for a high-level 7-tier medicinal formula. Hearing this, Xiolian immediately laughed and shook his head. He continued, saying that it was too expensive. Even if it was truly as the old man said and the copper plate was from ancient times, many things have been left behind since ancient times, including everyday items. Just this image alone would not be enough to determine its value. Xiolian inside and then continued saying to forget about everything because he would only trade for the snowbone ginseng. Xiolian then proceeded to take a jade bottle from his storage ring and placed it on the stone platform. 
COAN said that this was a heart elemental pill, a mid-tier level 7 pill. If someone consumed it while refining pills, it would help stabilize their mind, thus increasing the chances of successfully refining the pill. The man immediately took the jade bottle given by Xiaoyan and opened it. Surprise quickly flashed in his eyes as he mumbled that it was indeed the heart elemental pill. Soon, the man smiled and said that it wasn't bad at all. Old Yan continued, saying that Xiaoyan was truly generous and that he had a good impression of Xiaoyan. Old Yan then put the pill into his storage ring and his eyes lit up slightly as he looked at Xiaoyan. Meanwhile, Xiaoyan smiled and took the jade box containing the snow bone ginseng from the stone platform, placing it into his storage ring. Xiaoyan then turned to leave, but suddenly Old Yan asked him to wait. Xiaoyan quickly turned back and asked if there was still something amiss. Old Yan immediately pointed to the copper plate and asked if Xiaoyan didn't want it. He swore to Xiaoyan that it was indeed an item from ancient times. Xiaoyan glanced at the copper plate and said that he couldn't afford to exchange it. No one would trade a high level 7 tier medicinal formula for that plate. The man then laughed and said he would lower the stakes. He didn't want a high level 7 tier medicinal formula. If Xiaoyan was willing to trade the heart elemental formula, he would give him the copper plate. Xiaoyan was surprised to hear this and his face showed hesitation. The heart elemental formula might not be as valuable as a high level 7 tier pill, but the formula was still very precious. Seeing Xiaoyan's hesitation, Tian Hu Zunji quickly whispered that Xiaoyan should trade for the item. The likelihood was high that Xiaoyan would lose out, and it was indeed something from ancient times. The old man simply didn't know how to unlock its secrets. Xiaoyan nodded internally, recognizing that Tan Hu Zumji's experience was vast. However, just as Xiaoyan was about to speak, the old man continued. He noted that Xiaoyan probably intended to use the snow bone ginseng for pill refinement. If Xiaoyan handed over the heart elemental formula, the old man would add another snow bone ginseng to the deal. A smile immediately appeared on Xiaoyan's face upon hearing this. Xiaoyan nodded, then turned his palm over, and a white scroll appeared. He then tossed the scroll to the old man, who hurriedly caught it. Xiaoyan smiled at the old man's enthusiastic behavior. After that, Xiaoyan stored the higher quality snow bone ginseng in his storage ring and reached out to take the copper plate. At that moment, laughter was heard, followed by a voice saying that the copper plate had also caught his eye. He asked if Xiaoyan would be willing to relinquish the copper plate. The smile on Xiaoyan's face slowly faded and a cold glint appeared in his eyes. Xiaoyan quickly turned and saw a young man in white clothing with a warm smile standing behind him. Meanwhile, three old men stood behind the young man in white and Xiaoyan's gaze quickly swept over them. The two old men at the back had vast and powerful auras. Their strength should have reached the 8-star Duzong level. On the other hand, the elder standing in front immediately surprised Xiaoyan. Xiaoyan could sense that the elder's strength seemed to be at the Daozun level. Not long after, the young man in white smiled and said that he could pay Xiaoyan twice the amount he had offered if Xiaoyan handed over the copper plate to him. Xiaoyan's eyes stared at the young man in white and he slowly shook his head, refusing the offer. The young man then curved his fingers and gently flicked his purple fan with lightning speed. A hidden force suddenly erupted, causing a fan to shift sideways. At that moment, Xiaoyan quickly grabbed the copper plate. Seeing Xiaoyan's reaction, the man in white immediately flicked his fan again, sending a sharp wave towards Xiaoyan. Xiaoyan's expression remained unchanged as he thrust his palm forward, causing a collision. When the young man tried to retreat, a foot shot toward his head, startling him. He waved his fan again, successfully retreating two steps to avoid Xiaoyan's kick. Seeing this, the two elders with 8-star Duzong strength immediately appeared in front of the young man. Their hands quickly formed claws as they reached for Xiaoyan's shoulders. At the same time, Xiao Yixian and Tian Hu Zunji slowly appeared in front of Xiaoyan like ghosts. Xiao Yixian coldly laughed and snapped her fingers, sending two grayish puffs of vapor outward. Seeing the seemingly ordinary gray vapor, the expression of the elder with Dao Zun level strength changed instantly. His hands clenched and the space in front of him distorted, blocking the two grayish puffs of vapor. Although the vapor was blocked, a faint scent still entered the nostrils of the two old men. Immediately, the Dao Ti inside their bodies fluctuated chaotically, and their faces showed surprise. They quickly retreated, suppressing the rebellion of Dao Qi in their bodies as they did so. Xiao Yixian promptly asked what they were doing and if they intended to seize the item by force.